Welcome back to another Secrets of the Pros. This is video two, and uh, we're uh, going over mixing King Swiss original apology. Uh, let me bring up the artwork in just a few. And we're going to be continuing where we left off. We were talking about, um, there's the artwork right there. We were talking about uh, mixing uh, the guitars and uh, getting the piano to sit well. We were using the, the Pro Q to do some mid side processing. So um, we've touched on using the bass, the, the kick drums, and um, the claps, which nothing was special happening there. But I'm going to start again uh, from, from the kick drums, right? So here we are with the kick drum and i'm using an ssl channel strip here rolling off 50 kilohertz uh boosting a little bit of um 5.58 it's before after and i'm using a little bit of r bass to add some weight parallel compressing that to an auxiliary track which i'm getting a little bit more attitude out of the kick drum and uh, I'm running it through the BX Digital on the mix bus. So uh, let's move into the bass guitar. And I'm going to uh, turn off my processes here. Just a quick recap. This is where I started. I took off the, the high end information here. I rolled off about um, 601. Uh, kilohertz and I'm um, parallel compressing that I'm making a duplicate of the bass and I'm sending it through this bass auxiliary track here with the guitar DTR to add a little bit more uh, low end there and um, let's bring in the, the claps and the, and, and the hats So this is what we have. Uh, notice I don't have anything on the snare auxiliary. The reason why I wanted the clap um, to just be dry in its own um, uh, space actually. So I don't feel like you have to add a lot of reverb on everything, right? You might um, cloud up the depth of the instrument. So, uh, with that said, let's touch on gain staging. Uh, first of all, if I check my meters here, I'm going a little bit um, negative 17. I'm still fairly at a decent gain stage here. And this is the reason, guys. Um, the reason why you want to start off low is... We want to capture, we want to make sure we're getting dynamic in the mix. So if we're going too hot, we, ha we, we will create di digital distortion. So the secret to getting a loud, fat mix is actually to mix it low. Then you can bring up the volume later on. So let's bring in the piano here. And uh, make sure uh, your plugins are not... Um, distorting so um, let's go down to let's see what I have over here okay I have a lead synthesizer that pops in every now and then uh, let's give it a, a little play here okay that's coming from the M1 if if you don't know um, the, I'm using an EQ just to roll off some low end information here because we don't need uh, low end on this synthesizer right we already have low end coming from the guitar and the bass and then i have a sampler um, with a female voice this is actually coming from i believe the instrument is called pure 
Let's give me one moment. Let me bring it up on the screen for you real quick. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, there it is. So I have Pure, uh, my runs kit one uh, from the Adventurements. I'm running uh, 5.6.6. And um, I can hit the keys. Yeah, yeah. And I can put in my different uh, runs on this mix so i'm using a high key yeah, yeah, yeah. to actually get that in in the rhythm so let me get rid of this flute because i'm not using it and what i'm actually doing i'm just eqing taking off a little bit of um um lows here before giving a little bit of a depth and um Let's uh, touch on the vocals because I think most of this video is going to be stepping on the vocals. Uh, first of all, these harmonies from King Swiss are coming from Melodyne, right? Baby, I've been thinking of you all day. Oh. Now, they might sound ridiculous to you um, by itself. Here's the actual secret, guys. If you want your artist to have a perfect, I wouldn't say perfect, but... um on the same key range harmony as they did on the lead you can use melodyne you can go down to um, scale snap and you can actually move the entire key so it harmonizes every single word with the lead so if i play the lead along with the harmony I'll be thinking of you all day i want you to be in my life from the first day so that's entirely coming out of Melodyne. And here's another uh, 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 secret. If you use something like Song Shifter on one vocal and you use it again on another one, pan both of them hard left and right and decrease the sense in um, tonal separation, you get a big wide harmony. In a few all day, I want you to be in my life from the first day. So I reminisce. Notice I adjust one and it get, uh, it, it's gotten wider. So that's what I'm doing. I'm bussing both harmonies. I'm using a slight EQ here, 166. Um, on on the top one, on the second one, I'm I'm using another EQ, rolling off too far the tree and boosting slightly different frequencies. And that's how I got a uh, King Swiss harmony to 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 pop in every time he pops the chorus. Uh, let's go on his lead vocal, and um, I'm gonna turn off real quick. Uh, my chain here. Uh, you'll uh, let you hear the raw. Baby, I'll be thinking of you all day. So what I did, I sent the copy of signal through the parallel compressor, which is giving me automatic volume. Hey, I want you to be in my life from the first day. So I reminisce. You might say that's really um dull. Of course it is because all the chains are off. So here's the first thing I did. I, I sent him to an auto tune to give him a hey, little on curve. your pretty brown eyes, your hug of me mesmerized. Come and be my wife. Eh? And then I'm using the SSL channel hey, here. Yeah. Rolling off 102 kilohertz, um, boosting um 12k at 4 4.3 dB and boosting about one and a half dB at four kilohertz and i'm removing a little bit of 500 to let the mid-range cut through so this is what the song like before and after yeah yeah, yeah. Off, on me i be real from me at and i'm using um the new q stereo um equalizer if i can switch to modern mode giving a little more futuristic look I'm knocking out resonance. My one and only, my day one baby. Before, after. So you might not hear the difference as much, but it's knocking out resonance. And then I'm using the Shep's EQ to brighten up uh, King Swiss vocal. Let's go before and after. Yeah, yeah. Before, after. Me na no man a steal. Me a man a real life. So I'm doing subtle changes, right? Small little changes to let the vocal pop. And I'm giving it a little bit touch of um, NLS on drive six. If you are princess in a real life, never see you cry. 
This actually makes the vocal steps more forward instead of have to raise the volume, giving it more pressure. Make your weep or left your side. Me love you with me mind. Heart, soul, you na no wolf in a sheep life. Baby, a bit. And then I'm still knocking out some more resonance that I was hearing in, in his verses. So that's where the cue comes in. Thinking of you all day. I want Half. you to be in my and life from the first day. And then I'm bringing in the fab Q. So I reminisce on your pretty brown eyes. Your hug of me mesmerized. Come and be my wife. Just so we can make back the volume. Now check this out. I'll turn off the Q10. And uh, turn it back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might, you might hear it uh, go slightly lower, but actually, I'm removing some mid range that is affecting King Swiss lead. Thinking so of you. Just because the vocal song's loud, that doesn't mean it sounds better. You have to know what to remove, or else something's gonna irritate your ears. You don't, you, you're, you're not gonna be sure what it is, unless you're an engineer. You can tell us the mid range information. So. That's the chain that was required to run on King Swift, Swiss, SSL, the Qs, NLS, another uh, Q10, the fab filter, and um, running another compressor to get more volume and giving some uh, analog song to it. Do I put this chain on every single vocal for every artist? No, sometimes I use one compressor, just two, it depends. And we're going to be touching down on the effects for the vocals um, I'm using uh, the wheels doubler you might see a little glitch here but um, here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it right I'm gonna use the chorus you can use a chorus or the wheels doubler if you want unfortunately my one has a little glitch but I'm gonna use the chorus effect I'm gonna switch it to doubler more just like waves and I'm sending a, a copy of Swiss lead to this double. So I'm going to turn that you on. All day, I want you to be in my life from the first day. So I reminisce Half. on your pretty brown Half. eyes. Your hug of me mesmerized. Notice his voice has gotten wider in the mix. That's what we want. We want depth. So um, and then I'm going to go on my second effects chain here. It's called the reverb. I'm EQing the, the reverb with a stereo image I've panned all out. So I'm going to send it through the reverb to give it more depth. Come and be my wife. Eh, yeah, yeah. Off, on. Yeah, yeah. You not might hear much, but you're he hearing it more on the tail end of the reverb. And I'm going to send him through the H delay. And on my H delay, all I have is a compressor keeping the volume balanced. So let's see what that sounds yeah. like. As I stand there, I look back from the first day. No, me and you hear me not going nowhere. You might hear the voice bounce from the left to right. That's what you call the ping pong mode. In the track, you're going to get the depth, but by itself, it might sound weird. And on, on the third one, it's actually one of my secrets is the guitar stomp box six. Just giving a little bit of vibe every now and then. Me day. and you just a run away, like Clyde and Bunny, eh? So I'm giving the delay a distorted um, saturation whenever a Swiss um, sings. And on top of that, I'm sending it to the side chain, which is on the H delay. So every time he raps, the compressor brings down the H delay. And when he stops raps, the compressor release the H delay so that the echo fills in the space. Let's check that out. We in this fit, the real love, real let's trust me, want you in my life. From the first day we are strive, me work hard for your be me lifeline, the right type. So like you have an automatic delay. So that's how we've gotten uh, King Swiss vocals to cut through the mix, right? Maybe I've been thinking of you all day. I want you to be in my life from the first day. So I reminisce on your pretty brown eyes. Your hug of me mesmerized. Come and be my wife. Now, at this point in time, once I'm sure the mix is close to where I want to be, I reference it with another material. Me, I be. But the hard times. 
So the last part left, guys, is mastering. We're going to touch on that on the next video. So um, be sure to lock in and uh, let us reach um, up to 200. And we're going to release another video from start to finish. So catch you on the next one, guys.